civil society organizations and religious groups have piled pressure on President Uhuru Kenyatta not to relent in his war on corruption. The group urged President Kenyatta to use the State of the Nation address set for Thursday to remind the corrupt that there will be no let-up in the fight. They also want the president to enumerate measures that will ensure the fight is sustained and suspects convicted. The address comes amid wrangles in Jubilee Party, with one of the factions accusing investigative agencies of being used in a proxy war to derail Deputy President William Ruto S. bid to succeed Mr. Kenyatta. But on Monday, Senate Deputy Speaker Kaithir Kindiki dismissed claims of division assuring followers the party is united and ready to listen to Mr. Kenyatta's address. The differences in opinion between various Jubilee leaders is a show of freedom of expression and democracy. Both houses are ready for the State of Nation address, Professor Kindiki said. Mr. Morris Odiambo of the referendum debate platform told the nation on Monday that there is concern that the president could use the address to capitulate to sustained pressure from a section of Jubilee legislators. We fear that the president may be tempted to drop the ball on to the pressure from a section of his party the country has been subjected to in the last few weeks. We hope it will not happen, Mr. Odiambo said. The Supreme Council of Kenya Muslims, Subcom. Vice Chairman Husano Lainato said the public expects a concrete action plan on corruption. Since the war started, there has been too much talk but no tangible action. This is the time for action Kenyans are tired of rhetoric they want to see action comma Mr. Nato said. Mr. Ronald Sungti, the coordinator lay apostle at the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru, said he expects President Kenyatta to show how he intends to slay the corruption of dragon and recover stolen assets. The president has outlined and given his assurance on the fight against corruption. We expect him to indicate how he intends to intensify the fight which has paralyzed development, said Mr. Sungti. But the cleric also wants Mr. Kenyatta to address the issue of joblessness among the Kenyan youth. Rift Valley Council of Elders Chairman Gilbert Cabbage also thinks the president should address the tense relations between him and his deputy in recent weeks. I know the president has in the past steered clear of the 2022 debate despite the rising crescendo of anti-Ruto sentiments. But I'll want to call upon the head of state to address and calm down the tension and infighting being witnessed. The Big Four agenda cannot be achieved in this noise comment said Mr. Cabbage. In Eugenia, some ODM legislators called for stronger laws to ensure the war on corruption is won. Senate Minority Leader James Orengo and his National Assembly counterpart John Mbadi said there is need to amend the law to give more teeth to the Directorate of Criminal Investigations DCI, and the Directorate of Public Prosecutions DPP, if the war on graft is to be won. Addressing a rally for the ODM candidate in Eugenia by election Christopher Karen, the leaders said corruption was a threat to the economy hence the need for concerted efforts to eliminate the vice. We need this referendum. It is high time we amended the law to give more powers to the government agencies charged with the responsibility of dealing with corruption without any manipulation said Mr Mbadi. Mr Orengo said the war on corruption has been politicized by people fighting the handshake because of the fear of the unknown. They think the handshake is to deny them leadership. No. We are working together with President Uhuru Kenyatta to make Kenya better than we found it, comma, Mr. Uwarengo said. Jem MP Elisha Odiambo and his Funila counterpart Aldomidanio said the war on corruption will only be won if President Uhuru Kenyatta is willing to call a spade a spade. Dot. The president should not spare anyone, even if it is his closest ally, as he said while in Namibia last week, said Mr. Odiambo.